So these are the packages that Freeworld sent me here. This filter comes with the variable ND filter 1 to 5, 6 to 9 and an ND32 slash CPL or only a CPL filter. And you also have this here, the K2 diffusion kit or also a mist filter 1 force. And then you have the K2 Cinemorph Blue Streak and also the hot gradient filter. I think the photographers, they will really like that. So let's unbox it. That looks nice what I'm seeing here right now. It comes with a leather case. That's a really, really nice case. I love that. Wow, this is actually thick. And the 32. Adapter rings, they are also included. It's actually great that they include all the adapter rings because that means that you don't choose a smaller size, then you get a bigger lens in the future and suddenly you can't use the filter anymore. And let's unbox that. It also comes with a really nice pouch, the gradient filter that matches perfectly with the main box. That's premium. And you can also move the filter out by pulling that up. That's quite handy. And blue streak filter. And again, perfect match. I guess it's the same system, yeah. Da, 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 da. And mist filter one quarter. Wish there would also be a one half. Again, same mechanism. I don't have to show you that again. Nice. I, I love these pouches. Like, this is beautiful. Yeah, get the nice free world stickers. And there is another microfiber included. I have so many of those. Here, this is my microfiber case, whatever you want to call it. Free well, free well. So let, let's count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen microfiber cloths only from Free well. Thank you, but I don't need more. <laughs> I think I need a bigger one soon. Okay, let's go out and test it. The K2 system features a magnetic design that allows for easy mounting and unmounting of the filters via lens rings. To attach the filter, all you have to do is to press the two buttons on the sides, rotate it into the right position and lock it via the two screws on the side. One feature of the K2 system that popped right into my eyes is the level on top of the filter. This allows you to see if your horizon is level or not, which is great because certain camera manufacturers think it's smart to turn off the camera level metering while recording. I'm looking at you, Canon. The main filters can be switched magnetically and come with a 1 to 5 and a 6 to 9 stop filter, which can also be used as CPL and ND32 CPL filters by removing the VND base from the system, which is also attached magnetically inside. Side. To use the graduated mist and streak filters, you have to open the little doors at the top and bottom of the filter and slide the filters in from the top, which makes sense for the graduated filter to control where the gradient should be. Although it makes sense that the graduated filter has to be slid in, I wish the mist and streak filters could attach magnetically as stacking filters magnetically is just faster. However, I think that especially landscape photographers will love the graduated filter to capture a wider dynamic range in certain shots. Now, if you don't know what a graduated filter is it's basically the same as an ND filter but like that one so it's basically half ND and half no ND as you might guess it's there to basically get more dynamic range like you put the ND only over the sky and then only the sky gets a bit darker but the rest the dark areas of the shot stay bright. Moving on to filter tests let's talk about color shifts. The colors on the 1 to 5 stop filter are pretty good. They're not 100% accurate but the shifts are very minor and nothing you would notice in your actual footage so the 1 to 5 stop filter passes the true color test in my opinion and that counts for the whole range from 1 to 5 stops. On the other hand the 6 to 9 stop filter shows a strong shift towards the blues. All colors move in the same direction though and the shift stays pretty consistent throughout the ND range. So it's not a hard fix when you color grade the footage but it's also not perfect. So I wouldn't call the 6 to 9 stop filter a true color filter but you can work with it. However, it's also a pre-production model that I already got about two months before release. So it could also be that the final production units perform better. Let's also talk about the X pattern that you often get with variable ND filters and there's actually 
actually not much to say about it because I didn't notice any X pattern on any stop of ND, so that's good news. And lastly, there is vignetting. I tested the filter with the 15 to 35 mm f2.8 Canon RF lens, which has an 82 mm filter thread. At 15 mm, it's tough for any variable ND filter not to add vignette, to be honest. So on the 1 to 5 stop filter, there is slight vignetting from 1 to 3 stops, but it's very minor. It gets more pronounced at 4 and 5 stops, but it's still okay. And as I said in previous videos, I actually like a bit of lens vignetting. On the 6 to 9 stop filter, there was slight vignetting at 6 stop, which became more noticeable with every stop and quite pronounced at 8 stops. However, that was at 15 millimeters, what is again very hard for every filter. So I also tested it from 20 millimeters and up, and the results are very good there. Some slight vignetting at 9 stops, but nothing too much to worry about. So overall, the Freewell K2 system is a good system if you're looking for a VND. The magnetic design makes it easy to switch between filters quickly, and the level on top of the filter is not nice to have if you use certain cameras. I think that these filters are especially interesting for landscape photographers and videographers that shoot more on location because for more run and gun style filming and especially vlogging the sliding filters in and out can be a bit too much and stacking filters is just faster and easier so the older free world systems are a bit better for that. So you have to know what's more important for you, versatility in terms of filters or size. So let me know in the comments below what you think about it it and if you plan on picking one up. And if you also want to know a few pretty cool tools that I use to shoot better videos here at home, check out this video here in the corner. And if you enjoyed this one, please leave me a like and consider subscribing for upcoming videos.